Hello, Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. Um, this card is from the stamp set. It's from the Beautiful Promenade from the Occasions catalogue, new stamp. It's a photopolymer stamp and there is uh, dies to go with it which we will be using. I also use for this background besides this image here a uh, waterfront and I use the spots and for the sentiment I got it from this new stamp set also in the occasion catalogue and I'm going to be using happy birthday Right, we are going to do some embossing as these flowers are embossed in black. So we'll do that first. Oh, first we'll do the card stock. You need a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored and folded in half. Burnished. Two bits of um, white cardstock at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. I actually forgot what it was, the size. Uh, one for the inside, one for the outside. We're going to be decorating both. As in this one, I just did a little line. And you'll also need a piece of Blackberry Bliss. Um, card for the sentiment. This is three eighths, and we'll be chopping it off. So you need it at least two and a half inches, but we'll chop that off when time comes. So we will need to emboss that, emboss the front. You'll also need some scrap of white to do the flowers, which I've got here. So to start with, let's do our embossing. So first we need our embossing buddy and emboss the front and also emboss the scrap and ooh, the bit I'm going to do the sentiment on. Get rid of that. Bring our black embossing buddy. Uh, embossing powder. Get that ready. Got our Versa mark. And got our stamp. So Ink up your stamp really well with the Versa mark and place this in the top half of your card and just stamp it down. Well, let's just put it to the side. Right, you'll need two more that we're going to cut out. One. That's that one, and then with the happy birthday, this we're going to emboss in white. Now this is a tight fit. Sorry if you can see my head. Hopefully, I've got it all on there. Not very good. Let's 
do that again. Just emboss it. That's not very good either. I think I should have got a bigger bit and then just stamped it down, cut it down. We don't work this way. I'll do that. Oh no. That's worked. We use that bit. Right, so there's some art finish with. Bring in the powder. And cover off flour. Can't even see which ways. <laughs> Don't know which way's got the flower on, it's not that corner, so it must be this corner. bits off. Just go over that again. That looks nice. Just a spot. I'll do that one. And we got these two to do. As we're cutting these out, I won't be so fussy on this. Now it's going to get noisy, sorry about that. Do the back first.
these haven't taken for some unknown reason, so we'll have to do them again. Another bit of scrap. Just nothing ever goes right when you're filming. Try again. That's better. And then this one. And that's better. Keep that out of the way. Right, what we've got to do now is, I think I'll cut these out, so we'll bring up the big shot. I've taken the um, caddy off the side of this. make it a bit lighter for me. I should actually take the plates off. Um, upside down. Right. Oh, you can't see. One out. So easy to cut out these, just line them up. This, we don't need this no more. Right, bring it back down. Let's put that in the middle so I know how far I've got to come. Right, pop this out. Put the eye back, we don't need that. Scrap, we'll keep for another time. Right, to colour these flowers in, all I did was get 
a dry wet wipe. So all you need is a dry wet wipe and your ink. And what I did was doubled it up and wrapped it around my finger, picked up some ink and just rubbed the centre of the flower. Did it really dark? Need some more ink. And then just went out to the edges a bit. I've got an itchy nose. And that's what I done. Do the same on Oh, we only need to do one, so just do a bit darker in the middle. And then do the same with this one. to the edges a bit all right oh, got an itchy nose keep that for another time just shut that for now then to get the little white bits if you can see them in the flowers. I just got a gel pen and just did little dots on the end of the stamens. I didn't do them all. I just did a few here and there. Obviously the colour of the ink will turn the gel pen white, uh, no pink. I'll do them. Um, couldn't find my lid. And what we did with this one, got a paper snips. And we cut off this petal. So it looks like that. And we got a bone folder and just gently because of the embossing, have them sticking up and this one, just gently do it, don't be too rough, I've done that the wrong way round, oh well, I'll just have to colour that one in, oh god I am making mistakes today aren't I? You don't have to use it. You could use a, um, uh, oh, what do you call them? Finger dauber. 
to do that. You don't need to dry um, a wet wipe out. And then this, we will sit on top of this one, but offset it, and we'll do that with a dimensional. Large one. Just sit a dimensional there. And offset it. And that when we do the stamping will sit roughly there. So let's get our stamping done. So you'll need a mask to cover this flower which I've got here I need some black ink and I need to stick that down, that's not sticking there we are. and our spots now we'll do the leaves first. Got our leaves for our flower. That's not very big. I need a big one. That'll do. So with this I put one here. And I put one yeah. And then I place that there and put one there. Stray hair. So next we need um let me just clean that because I need the block. Um, next we need the spots, which are here. And all I did was put a cluster there, a cluster there, also one here, and one here. Then I cleaned it off. And got out the Blackberry Bliss. Ooh. And just went over them the same. So. And I also got the triangle image. This and that's that image there. I don't know if you can see it with the light. There, that one. 
and I just went over the spots Side, we got. I never got it out. It's a little tiny lines. Let's put that back. if I can all it is is two little lines on a no I want it this way and that's all they do they just they run even on the rubber And that's all I've done with that one. I'm trying to think of things to do with these little stamps. So that's that. Now let's put this card together. Right, to put this card actually on my card base, because it's buckled, I use double-sided tape over the um, embossed bit, and then I glue the rest down. So I just put some double sided tape over this bit just so that it will lay flat. that's gone on better this one I made the mistake the tape was too long you won't be able to see it but I've got a bump there where I folded the tape over and I shouldn't have done right this one we glue on just glue the flat one down and we glue that 
there. Press it down. And the sentiment, we I'll find my scissors. We're going to banner it. And this will just get glued there. So with our glue there we have it. And to the inside. I hope you like that card. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe and press the bell button next to it and you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thank you for visiting and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.